Hey guys, welcome back. And I didn't have my headphones on. So welcome back, welcome back. Okay. Now this is part this is a new episode, part of the British coin series. And if you saw the last videos, I did two um, 1909 every the seventh farthings and today I'm going to clean for you this beautiful 1901 Queen Victorian Queen Victoria one penny and she is in beautiful condition as you can see right there she has beautiful um, luster she's a red brown and the grade that I will give her is an extra fine 45 to probably an AU50. Now AU means almost uncirculated. Okay, my clean solution of choice is coin care because all I do is clean the surface of the coin from dirt and grime. And you can see that she has pretty fair amount of dirt around her around the, the legend of the coin and within the small nooks and crannies so all I'm going to do is the coin care is um, remove that dirt clean her up a bit and bring her back to almost her glory because when she was brand new she was a beautiful shiny reddish orange penny but remember, us collectors and conservers, we love the patina, and we must protect the patina. Remember that. It's all about the patina. So we're going to take a cotton swab, and we are going to rub it on the surface. And you see a little bit of green, which means, again, that she has some PVC damage as well. And PVC damage is actually, in my opinion, one of the number one um, ailments on coins. Because in the old days, people didn't know about PVC leaching into the coins. So they would make the 2x2 the two two flips uh, um, with PVC in it. Because it kept the, the plastic soft. But over the years, they found out that it was actually damaging the coins. So they removed it. Even though today, you're still going to have, you, you can still find 2x2 two two flips with PVC in it. Um, but they are always the cheaper ones, right? You want to go for museum grade or archival grade PVC flips. And the same goes for paper. Because you want to use, you know, like those paper um, envelopes that they sell, the little square ones. But you want to make sure that they are acid-free paper. Because the acid in paper will tone your coins. Now, toning is a form of damage as well. But it doesn't really hurt the coin. Because toning is oxidation. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm just going to pass the Q-tip around the ledger. Okay, now you can see right here. Now again, this will not hurt the coin. Um, this is actually one of my personal coins right here. So this this one goes to my collection. I am a big collector of of foreign uh, I mean of Great Britain coins. Okay. Um So I have an extensive collection. She looks like she has a die crack right here. You can see a die crack across the ledger, which usually, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. 
Um, yeah, the, the wear on the dies, they always crack on the ledger because that's the edge. So with the pressure over time, it cracks and you see it always on, on the ledger. And sometimes that runs into the fields. Okay. So now that makes sure even special. I love die cracks. Die cracks, panchet cracks. And this is just dirt that's coming off. And you can see once I'm done with her, how her surface will be. Now I'm only rubbing the surface with the toothpick. I'm not digging in, or I'm not gouging in in any way. Plus it's also wood, okay. You know, wood is not really going to affect copper. Now, if you're using more abrasive techniques, like if you're using uh, Andre pencils, and you're using like the those black, those black tipped pencil ones, then you could be. I mean, not, not could be, but you will be scratching the surface of the coin. Um, those are only to be used on severely bad coins with lots of heavy encrustation, particularly ancient coins. Okay. Um, it will not be used in a coin of this manner because you will mess her up. And you don't want that. Okay. You will remove her patina. Uh, um, patina. And she will only be collectible to you. Now remember. Always protect the patina. Remember that. Now there are times. Like I said in other videos. I know I repeat myself. I'm sorry. Um, unless you want me to put music um, in my videos and cling to music, let me know. I'm tired of hearing me talk. Um, so, a little bit of her eye right there, the crown. Um, I actually forgot what I was talking about. Sorry about that, too. It is a little late today. Okay, it's about 2.30 in the morning. I am in night owl. And I do my best work late at night. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Do a little bit in her ear. She got some wax in there. Okay. Um, just a little bit of... But like, but like I said, PVC um, damage um, does damage the surface a bit. So now I'm going to pass, again, the coin care. Same cotton swab that I used. It's fine. It's just to help remove any... Okay. Let's go for a nice clean, dry swab. And this just picks up all the dirt that's there. And the, res the residual coin care in the surface. Okay. OK. 
Okay, let's get another clean. Just turn it around for the clean in. So you can see all the ledger now, it's nice and clean. You notice that there's no scratch on the surface. See it? There's no scratches. I love that die crack. Let's grab another Q-tip. She has some dirt left on her, on the beads, on the beading, on the beaded edge. But it's always like that. Um, Let me dry off my fingertips because, again, um, you know, holding the coin while I'm passing coin care on it, you know, it keeps them wet. And I'm passing it over the wet spot that my fingertips add. Okay. She's actually looking very nice. You can see the surface. Now this coin, I believe, if you will send it in to um, get it graded, it might come back um, with details because she has a little bit of corrosion right there uh, because of the PVC um, damage itself um, but like I said grading is subjective so like um, like they say right it depends if the guy had his or the girl had their coffee today okay and there she is. Look at that beauty right there. See the legend. The ledger is nice and clean. The fields are clean. Her crown, her veil. Now this is, um, I believe this is type two. No, type three, because they made three types of of um, Victorian coins. So you had the young head. Which is from 19, 19, from 1850, right? Young head, which is also AKA bun head, right? From I believe 1850, all the way up to 1860, when they transitioned to a bronze coin. Uh, before that, all coins were copper, 100%. And then, it was changed again in 1885, I believe, either 85 or 95, to what you see here. This is this one is called the veil head, um, also known as the old head, right, Victorian. So now let's flip over and let's do the reverse. And you can see the dirt and everything there still. Um, I'm going to need a clean cotton swab again. So let me dip it into fresh solution. Come on, you. I do wish that... Um, the coin care came in a twist top, uh, which they don't. I mean, I, I could probably move the whole thing into a jaw, but 
I like the the canister that is in. Other than the the closure, I'm not a big fan of. So let's let's start working on this reverse. And you can see uh, again, see the dirt. See it's green. So a bad case of PVC damage. And we're just gonna work it in small circles, just like this. You can already could see um, what I call um, the halo effect, right? And that is when this transitions from the 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 reddish copper hue to the brown um, patina. So usually when, when you see that is a very high grade coin. Like I said, that's why I, I put this one at an extra fine 45 to a AU um, 50, right, which is almost uncirculated. Now you might say that is a little conservative, right? It, it could probably even pass for a higher grade, uh, a AU 55. You know, um, but like I said, grading is subjective. So, so let's again. We're gonna pass the Q-tip. Let's take the trident. I think the trident had a lot of dirt in it. Um. So. I'm just gonna go around the letters and around the voids of the letters. You saw this one had a hair. We'll get to the fields in a bit. I mean, I've cleaned worse coins than this. I mean, I've cleaned coins, um, pennies like this, um, that were really gummed up. I mean, it took me an hour to clean. If you look at my older video, um, I have a Victorian video uh, up, and that one really took me a bit to clean. I believe I have it up. Um, let's, let's get inside here because her fuse are actually very nice. It's just getting in the um the chest plate armor here. And in her tunic or her robe. Get behind her neck, her on the arm. Let's see where else. There are other spots here. Okay, I think we are good to go. So I'm just going to pass the, the wet cotton swab again, pick up any debris. And be it that she is really soppy, I'm going to use a piece of paper towel here just to absorb. And you notice I'm just pressing down. Even though paper towel ain't really going to hurt her surface, but... 
I just blot. Right, it is paper compared to cotton swab, paper might scratch, so that's why I just blot. And then let's dry off a surface with a nice clean dry cotton swab. Right there, we can see the 1901 very nicely. The trident is nice and clean. Okay, let's go for um, the dry end of the swab now. And you can see how the coin really cleaned up nicely. Okay, uh, let's dry up my fingertips just in case they're a little moist from the previous, my, um, you know, when I clean, when I um, wet it again. And like I said, I pass the cotton swabs until the surface of the coin is dry looking. Uh, it's okay for it to have a mild sheen, right? But it's not okay for the coin to look wet. Okay. If the coin looks wet, then that means that it has still has a lot of coin care on the surface. Okay. So now I'm just going to take a cotton swab, another swab, and just pass it across the surface again, and then this one will be done. Another successful cleaning. And there she goes. There she blows. No. It's a Moby Dick reference. Okay. And there she goes. Look at that. Look at the surface of that coin. How beautiful she is. Let me zoom out a bit. You can see my cup where I'm propped up on. Look at that. It's a beautiful, beautiful coin. And I am proud to have this coin in my collection. Right? See the beautiful sheen on this. Now, like I said, I will have her. Um, I will have. I what I do is um, I let them sit overnight to cure. And what I mean by cure is really dry. Let me just pass it. And the obverse here real quick. Okay. And we cannot forget the rim. See the rim is always there on the rim. Remember that folks. Always clean your rim. Probably zoom out for this, right? Let's see, let me zoom out a bit. There. Okay. She is almost finished. So, if you guys like what I do, if you're interested, 
in some coin cleaning services you could contact me on Facebook right the information is on my channel you could go there um, vintage Avenue rare rare coins um, let's clean up okay please subscribe because you know without you I can't my channel can't grow so help my channel grow follow me on Facebook and Instagram I post there almost daily now and um, comment below let me know why you think of my technique what you think of my coins just look at that look at the beauty you saw the dirt that this coin had on it you know she'll be she's worthy for anybody's collection but she's mine, so don't don't email me don't email me saying that you want her, but she is mine. She is a beauty. So guys, thank you for watching the video. Like I said, this is part of my British coin series. Right? And next video that I'm gonna do is a George the Fifth um farthing as well. And we'll move up the line from there. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.